Hello guys, it is Evan, and today we are looking at CyanogenMod Mod 10.1.0 RC1 release. Um, there is an RC2 out right now, on um, the next update. I haven't updated yet, it came out about a day or two after RC1 was released, so I didn't bother updating yet. Um, I didn't go over the M2 ROM there is, of Cyanogen Mod 10.1. Not much has changed in the software itself. So, I'm pretty much just going to go over from the start of the whole operating system. So, obviously, you have your Jelly Bean lock screen where you can set your default apps. You have, you have Unlock, YouTube, well, this is what I have, Unlock, YouTube, Google, well, that's Google now, um, Camera, and Chrome. Um, one thing they did fix was an M3 ROM. There was a weird scrolling thing so if you were scrolled over sometimes it would jump back if you were in say Flipboard or Instagram or Facebook or in a web browser if you're scrolling down sometimes it would jump back up if I was in Flipboard and say I was looking at technology if I was down if I was see I was reading this one how to make your iPhone run like new if I was down here sometimes it'd jump back up to the previous slide and then as soon as I touched it and just went like this, it jumped back down to here. So that was a weird bug, but it is fixed in the RC1 release. Um, obviously, and there's something new called Lock Home Screen. So if you click it, now you can't move around the app, so it'll just open it up. You can't move around anything. So that's nice, maybe if you have a, uh, if you have a kid and he's looking at your phone, and you want to play some apps, he wants to play some games or something. But it can't move anything around because you lock the home screen, so that's a good feature. Um, settings, if this is your first time upgrading, if you're upgrading from 10.0, um, you're not going to have developer options. You're, you're going to need to go to About Phone and click the build number. And see, I already have enabled developer settings, but you will have to do that if you're coming from a anything lower than 4.2.2, so 4.1.2. So I believe if you're coming from M2 and under, or maybe the M1 ROM and under, you'll need to do that if you want developer settings. So if you want to enable USB debugging or something like that. Um, other than that, everything's the same in the settings. You obviously have profiles. Something new I found was in display, you have something called Daydream. So what this does is when you enable it, you can set it when to daydream, when docked, when charging, or either. Um, I've set for either, but I usually turn it off. So you can choose a few things. You can have the bean flinger. I'll show you what it looks like. Basically, it looks like this. I have it set to the Cyanogen mod one. So when you're charging your phone, this will pop up. Sort of like a screensaver. You can have colors. So it's just colors. It doesn't really do much. Um, Flipboard's a good one. So you can have the headlines scroll through while you are charging your phone. That's a nice one, especially if you have a dock. It's on your desk or something, you can just dock it and it's right there. Um, yeah, so that's that for Daydream. It's a nice little feature. Um, I haven't used it a ton, but I enjoy it a little bit. Um, wireless display. Oh, so you have a, the settings are all the same. In here, now, the apps, it's just stock jelly bean. Same with the widgets. Um, so up here, obviously, you're going to have your quick settings, and then, so you can have your settings there, all your toggles over here, you know, you have all your email and notifications, you can set toggles up there as well, just put that on, in case I, oh, oh, just froze. So if you pull down two fingers, you can get to your quick settings, um, you can also set something so you can change the brightness just by moving your finger along up here, that's one of my favorite settings of Cyanogen Mod. It's been in here from, I believe, 10.0. Um, you could do that. So some other features are in Cyanogen Mod. Let's go over some more features. Um, so since we're on Jelly Bean, if you try to move an app, obviously they will move out of the way. Like if we had this widget, we can move it up here. And obviously the apps move out of the way, which is a nice feature if you're trying to arrange your home screen. So, so far it's stock Android pretty much. Some little add-ons by Sound Mod, which is nice. 
Obviously, you have your launcher settings. So if you go in here, you go launcher. It's called Trebuchet. I believe that's how you pronounce it. So home screen. You have tons of different settings you can do. Um, I personally haven't really messed around with it too much because the, the whole reason I use Cyanogen Mod is for that stock Android experience. Um, you have safer profiles if you want to have different profiles, so home, work, how one for your kid, maybe just a bunch of games and stuff. Um, sound display, everything's pretty much the same. Advanced, this is a nice little feat. Oh no, it's, well, that's one too. But where is it? Oh yeah, down here, performance. This is a nice feature built in, into Cyanogen Mod. You do not need to download another app. You can overclock your processor right from the settings, which is a great feature. Um, that's not stock Android, obviously. But you would usually have to download a separate application. But from here, you can just set your CPU governor, set the speed, set on boot. So that's a nice little feature here. You can edit the graphics a little bit, the memory management, if you want to, oops, if you want to, you know, change it around. I personally don't recommend messing with that because if you do something wrong, you're obviously going to drain your battery life a lot. If you overvolt it, you know, you may even fry it, even though I hope they don't allow you to um, overvolt your phone so much you just fry everything inside of your, like your motherboard and stuff. Um, so you can still change themes. Um, I'm just using stock. I'm just using the stock theme. You can obviously change stuff on your lock screen. Um, data usage is something I like. I, it's in stock Android too, but if you want to see how much your, of your data you're using, I use this a lot if I'm watching a lot of YouTube or I'm watching Hulu. I want to make sure I'm not going to go over my data cap. So you have your accounts, everything. So stock Android experience, um, a very enjoyable ROM. I personally really like this ROM. It's probably my favorite. I use this daily as my daily driver. Um, yeah, so, yeah, you have your camera, the camera is nice, you know, you have your panorama, you don't have photosphere, you have your video, um, yeah, so that's pretty much it. Not a great camera, but it's pretty good. Just take some pictures of flash on. Yeah, so, it's not the greatest camera in the world, but it's not bad. So that's pretty much it, um, going over some some of the stuff in Cyanogen mod, pretty much stock Android. If you want stock Android experience, you can go with this or AOSKP, which is another ROM. Um, I've used it a few times. I've never used it as my daily driver. I just prefer Cyanogen mod. So that's it. Nice little turn off. Um, subscribe for more. Check out my other videos. And that's it, guys. Thanks for watching.